Hi, all. This is a story whispered, sharing a softly spoken roleplay with you this week. One written by Anxiety Go Round on Reddit, wonderful name, where you might anticipate a uh, space noir kind of vibe. I hope you enjoy it, and if you do, please like, comment, and or subscribe, because feedback, along with anxiety, makes this particular world go round. I wish you well, and a good sleep, if that's where you're headed, and as ever, we'll catch you next week. Excuse me, is this seat taken? Well then, whiskey on the rocks for me, thanks. And for my friend here, <laughs> to each their own. I'll take that whiskey then. Tell me if you change your mind. Pardon the cliche, but uh, what's a distinguished individual like yourself doing in a place like this? No. Well, pardon me for assuming then. To be honest, I just thought you looked a little too fine to be one of the usual clientele here. A crowd of bounty hunters, hitchhikers, gang members, some pickpockets and the like. Let's just say you stand out. I assume there's some sort of story behind that. I see. You're not too out of place in that regard, then. Most folks who pass through here have stories to tell. <clears throat> you want to know about me. I'm just a drifter passing through, but... Yeah, I had some tall tales of my own. Once upon a time. Oh well, hardly worth telling them now. I'm a bit retired from being a desperate scoundrel, you see. Nowadays, I'm just trying to get by, like any other poor soul this side of the galaxy. Ah, there's my drink. What do I mean by desperate scoundrel? Seems you're getting interested in my sorry past. It's a shame. We'll probably have a lot more fun with some whiskey or wine, whichever you prefer. But since you're so curious though, let me just say I've had my fair share of adventure, including, but not limited to, bartending in the Star Cities wild partnership with a sentient clock on Mars, a stint as a mercenary in no man's land, intergalactic services, customer satisfaction guaranteed. I don't look like the type to do what? Bartend or murder for a living. <laughs> Well, looks can be deceiving. I've been a bad girl. Could still be one if I wanted to. But I learned the hard way that those moral lessons they preach at you when you're a kid, they're not all lies. Being bad doesn't pay half as well as you'd like it to. I gotta put dinner on the table somehow. Right? Hmm? Oh, dinner's for myself. <laughs> if I had any kind of family to look after, well, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Like I said, I'm a drifter. Go where the money trail takes me. That's not really sustainable for most relationships, so I stay on the move, and I do it alone, generally. It's not half bad. 
one about you. I don't mean to pry, but story for a story sounds about fair to me. From the looks of it, you've got one hell of a tail hidden behind that stubborn mouth. Huh. So you followed this lover of yours all the way from your blue blood old money home to one of the seediest parts of the galaxy because you knew your family wouldn't approve. And you're waiting for her here while she sorts out her business. You say you've been in this spot for, what, two hours now? No word from her? Ah. Uh, well, these are dangerous parts, you know. I wasn't kidding when I said you stick out like a sore thumb. Everybody in this bar is probably on the wrong side of the law, one way or another. If your sweetheart's dealing with that kind of business, you might want to watch your back. You're not budging? Seems you're romantic at heart, for all you like to act so cool and standoffish. Do I think you're wrong to wait? Ah, couldn't say. Perhaps it's a little foolish, but then again, love makes fools out of us all. I've known people I would have waited for. It's just that most of them bit off more than they could chew and... Well, let's just say they're not around anymore. It happens in that line of work. Sorry for my loss. <laughs> well, thank you. It's all water under the bridge now. I get nostalgic sometimes. But like I said, I'm a drifter now. I travel light, and that includes memories. It's not really practical to carry them around all the time, you know. Immortal life to a star's that's the saying they have around Galaxy 560A. No love or grief is eternal, and it's all dead in the blink of an eye when you compare it to the endlessness of the celestial bodies. In that sense, I suppose you could say we're all drifters in our own ways, just passing through the dive bar of life, if you will, looking for something strong enough to carry us through another evening. I'm getting a bit philosophical, aren't I? Sorry about that. Must be something in this drink. <laughs> anyway, whiskey's strong and it seems like we'll both need some luck tonight, so... I propose a toast. To drifters. Travel in light. Would you look at the time? Midnight already. Cinderella's running late. Must be a real nice lady for you to put it all on the line for her like this. So she promised to take you away to a better life, maybe in the Star Cities. Guess you'll have to board the next ship off planet if you want to make it there before your folks come knocking. And I suppose that's why you're here. That business she's attending to. Tickets for those ships don't come cheap. And you can't have snuck much of your inheritance out of your home when you left. I'll admit, this isn't a pretty place. But it's a quick, dirty way to make coin when you're in a tight spot. Provided you know who you're bargaining with. Yeah, well, <laughs> I expected as much. You want to be careful who you give that information to. As I said, most of the people here are on the wrong side of the law. But that doesn't mean they're all on the same side, either. It's more than one way to be wrong. And your princess is in hot water if she thinks she's getting away from this planet scot-free. Well, it's been over two hours. More than enough time to sort out any kind of business. 
Why do you think she isn't back yet? For every single desperate cutthroat in this place, there's, there's an equally desperate drifter willing to turn him into the police for the right price. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. I'm just speculating. She could be fine. L listen. Just a moment. Sit down. S sit down. Have a sip if you don't mind. It'll calm your nerves. Mind if I ask you something? I've got a little theory I'd like you to confirm. Riddle me this, distinguished drifter. Ex-crime boss on the run, facing countless charges of murder, several more of assault and battery. She's guilty of resisting arrest, violence against law enforcement, organized criminal activity, fraud, one count of kidnapping, and more legal jargon that I can't really be bothered to memorize. Her most recent crime is the possession and trade of illegal substances, particularly the faceless killer weed they're farming on planet 26B nowadays. Bounty of five million promised to whoever brings her in. Does any of that sound familiar? Though I suppose the kidnapping charge is technically baseless, considering that you went with her willingly. <sighs> like I said, I follow where the money trail leads me, and being bad doesn't pay very well. I'm paying the good girl for a change. Bounty hunters around the galaxy have been fighting tooth and nail to get their hands on your sweetheart for the past couple of months, myself included. Haven't you been watching the news? Me. I haven't done anything. But I'm guessing my partner's caught up to her at this point. Look. Look. If you're gonna go after her, I'm not stopping you. But you gotta listen first. You go now. You either die, or you follow her to prison. Maybe to the gallows, depending on how deeply you've been involved in her affairs up till now. Why do I care? Let's put it this way. I'm playing the good girl. But I'm not a good girl. And I don't play by the rules unless I have to. We established that earlier, right? I'm broke as hell. And I need that five million. But I don't need to turn you in to get it. It's true. I came here looking for the target's companion. And it's true. That's why I approached you. You don't carry yourself like someone from these parts, you know. Everything from your posture to that wide-eyed expression. You just scream, sweet, pampered darling of the sheltered upper class. But you don't know what you've gotten yourself into with this lover of yours. Like I said, we're all drifters in the end. But you really want to risk your neck for a woman who's digging herself into an early grave anyway. Hey, wait. Wait. <sighs> ah, damn. Gone. Just like that. Red, I miss the second target. Probably running your way right now. Yeah, I'm going. Be ready just in case. Love makes fools of us all, huh? 